हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन टू द ई लर्निंग सेशन ऑफ ऑटोमोबाइल इंजीनियरिंग माई सेल्फ हार्दिक शाह एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस लेक्चर सीरीज वी विल डिस्कस सम इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ ऑटोमोटिव इलेक्ट्रिकल्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ओके वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज लाइटिंग सिस्टम राइट एंड अवर टूडे टॉपिक इन दिस वीडियो इज रिफ्लेक्टर्स इन हेडलाइट एंड इट्स फ्लैश यूनिट इन टर्न सिग्नल लाइट ओके आई होप you will see this video till the end to completely understand this topic and gain your skills in automobile engineering i also request you to note down any queries which arises during the lecture and ask it in comment section i will try to solve all the queries as soon as possible so now let's start our today's video about the headlights so what is headlight reflectors actually the light produced by the bulb is insufficient as it is directed towards a particular direction only okay so to give the light emitted from the bulb a definite pattern to cover considerate amount of longitudinal and lateral visibility okay so headlights are used which reflect the light from the bulb into a particular pattern on the road okay so the object of the headlight reflector is to direct the random rays of the light produced by the source that is bulb into the concentrated beam of the light by applying law of reflection symbol so bulb position relative to the reflector is very important it determines the exact pattern of the light beam so slight deviations in bulb position with respect to reflector can cause magnified distortions in headlight pattern okay so a reflector is basically a layer of silver chrome or aluminium deposited on a smooth polished surface such as brass or glass so as shown here the reflector used in automotive headlamps are actually concave reflectors okay so let's see different types of reflectors first is parabolic reflector so a parabolic reflector is one of in which uh, if the source of light is kept at the focal point all the light ray will end up parallel to the principal axis okay so the light intensity is maximum at the center except from the light cut off by the bulb itself so the intensity diminishes as one moves away from the center okay second is bifocal reflector so the bifocal reflector as the name suggest it has two different curved surfaces with two focal points okay so this helps to take the advantage of the light striking at the lower reflector area so the parabolic section of the down section is designed to reflect the light further down to improve near the car visibility okay so this system is not suitable with twin filaments bulb and is only used for the vehicles with the four uh, headlamps that is uh, just like in mercedes and jaguar s type okay next is homifocal reflector this is third type okay so what is that a homifocal reflector is made up of the number of sections each with a common focal point this allows shorter focal length and hence overall depth of the light unit decreases okay so the effective luminous flux is also decreased and it can be used with a twin filament bulb to give a deep and a main beam okay so the light from the main reflector gives normal long range lighting and the auxiliary reflectors uh, improve near the field and lateral visibility okay next is polyellipsoidal headlight system so what is that so actually it was introduced by the bosch okay it allows the light produced to be as good or in some cases even better than the conventional light okay but with a light opening area of less than 30 cm square fine so this is achieved by using a cad designed elliptical reflector a shield is used to ensure particular pattern this can be a clearly defined cut off lines or even intentional blurriness in the image okay this can be only used with a single filament bulb and they are found in four headlamp vehicles okay so this was all about the reflectors now let's see about the headlight lenses okay what is that a good headlight should have a powerful and far reaching central beam 
around which the light is distributed both horizontally and vertically in order to illuminate as much as area of the road surface as possible okay so the beam formation can be considerably improved by passing the reflected light through a transparent block of lenses now it is the function of the lenses to uh, partially redistribute the reflected light beam and any stray rays so that overall road illumination is improved with minimum glare okay lenses works on the principle of refraction okay it is refraction so the headlamp front glass is made up of the large number of small rectangular zones and each zone being formed optically in the shape of the concave flute or you can say combination of the flutes or the prisms okay so the shape of this section is such that when a roughly parallel beam of the light passes through the glass each individual element is redirected to obtain better beam design so the flute is control the horizontal distribution of the light okay so at the same time they sharply bend the rays downwards to give diffused local lighting just near the vehicle okay it is for near the vehicle distance now many headlights are now made with a clear lenses this means that all the reflections is being done by the reflector only okay so this was all about the headlamp uh, reflectors and its lenses now let's see about the electronic flasher unit okay or you can say a flasher circuit uh, what is the direction so direction indicators have number of requirement which are governed by the laws okay now they are something like this so first is light must be amber in color second is flashing must be in a phase third one uh, flashing rate must be between one or two per second not more than that okay and fourth is on a fault in the circuit there should be an indication in the instrumental panel also fifth if one bulb fails other need to continue flashing okay sixth an audible noise of tick 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 nature is necessary to indicate the flashing of the lights okay the sound must be there so let's see how it works in a flasher unit fine so you can see here a simple schematic diagram of the electronic flasher unit it is as shown here okay so the operation of the unit is based on a around the integrated circuit okay the type it is shown can operate at least for uh, at least four bulbs of the 21 volt and the two of the five volt on the each sides okay for several hours if required in a hazard mode okay now flasher units are rated by the number of bulbs they are capable of operating so when to towing a trailer or you can say a caravan it must be able to operate the bulb on a trailer also okay now most units use a relay for actual switching as this is not susceptible to voltage spikes and also provide the audible signal so the electronic circuit is constructed together with a relay on a printed circuit board that is pcb okay now very few components are used as the ic is specially designed for this purpose okay now this ic itself has three main uh, three main sections first one is relay driver thereafter oscillator and a bulb failure circuit now a zener diode is built in the oscillator section to ensure constant voltage such that the frequency of the operation will remain constant in the range of 10 to 15 volt now the timer for the oscillator is controlled by an r1 and c okay the values are often set to given the on off ratio of 1 as to 1 and a frequency of the 1.5 hertz fine so the on off signal produced by the oscillator is passed to the driver circuit which is a darlington pair with a diode connected to prevent the damage due to the generation of the back emf okay and when relay turns on and off it will work okay so bulb failure is recognized when the voltage drop across the low value resistor r2 falls fine so the bulb failure circuit causes the oscillator to double the speed of the operation extra capacitors can be used to protect this circuit against the transient voltage or the fluctuations for the interferences problems okay so this was all about the flash unit that we have seen in this video so we discussed about the basic lighting systems and its purpose okay i wish you get the clear idea about the reflectors and lenses and the flash unit okay 
therefore if you have any more to know or if you have any specific query please let me know i will try to solve all the queries as soon as possible okay in next lecture we will discuss some uh, interesting topics about the headlights and the different types of lamps in detail okay so i hope you like this video thank you so much stay tuned goodbye